All right, so just out for a little run today. Uh, it's December here in Norway. It's getting really cold. Uh, still no snow though, but I think the forecast said that it's due to arrive tomorrow or the day after that. So I don't know, this might be my last run in the woods for a few months. The ground is pretty dry though, mostly frozen. So I'm very fortunate to have uh, a lot of trails around my house because it's not that densely populated around here so there's still a lot of nature or forest. wearing my new winter jacket because you gotta know gear is essential in Norway if you, if you live in like warmer climates you can get away sometimes with just a few items of clothing but if you live in Norway you need all kinds of clothing to take you through the winter all kinds of different temperatures different Weather, rain, snow, hail, wind. Just moving through a little bit of a wet patch here. Um, thankfully, I'm not going to have to deal with the Norwegian winter. Because I'm heading to Nice in southern France. So I'll be spending January and February over there and uh, that'll be nice because the running conditions there are really good and so it's not gonna be warm like La Palma would be or tropical but it's better than Norway the Sun is a little bit higher on the horizon which is good for my mood and energy levels and uh, still no vitamin D though but that's fine I'm supplementing with that anyway so a little bit more Sun and temperature wise is gonna be comfortable you know like uh, between 5 and 15 degrees Celsius which is really pretty perfect for running actually so I look forward to taking you with me there, showing you guys around in this, taking you with me on long runs, all that good stuff. So that's gonna be awesome. Coming up in just a month, check it out, so beautiful. You know, Norway is so awesome as long as the sun is out. But the days with no sunshine, they suck. Anyway, this downhill coming up now is so awesome. It's one of my favorite downhills, trail downhills uh, in this area. Let's go.
we go. A little bit more difficult to do the descent now with all the ice and stuff, but at least it's better than mud. So if you follow me on social media, you'll know that I did a race called Bringebärlöpe, which is the raspberry run uh, this summer. And in the middle part of that run, you're coming up here and it's tough. It is tough. I've been climbing for, well, it's, it's a pretty short race. It's not a tough, tough race, but it's a, it's a short and intense race, you know? And you're coming up here, around here, and you're climbing up, up, up. And I remember, approximately around this point here the guy in front of me was standing bent over uh, couldn't couldn't continue almost he was like oh, you know and as i passed him i pat him on the back and said good work or something like that i don't remember what i said but <laughs> i don't know if he felt like it was demoralizing or motivating i don't know but i passed him anyway and i was chased by a girl that was running behind me all the time the whole the whole race until the very end where I got away thankfully <laughs> <laughs> 